Welcome to another session of JS Networks. In today's session, we are covering regression analysis using SPSS. So what is regression analysis? Regression analysis helps to predict the dependent variable from the independent variable. Independent variable can be one or many. Regression analysis can be used to predict or explain the impact of independent variables on dependent variables. That is the main thing. Okay. That is, this is used to predict the impact of independent variables on the dependent variables. Regression analysis is used to assess the relationship between dependent and independent variables for prediction or explanation with differences from correlation. It can be useful in scenarios such as marketing, HR and social activism. Bivariate and multiple regression are compared in this. That is regression analysis helps to predict the impact of independent variables on the dependent variables. Concept of regression. Regression technique is used to assess the strength of a relationship between one dependent and independent variable or variables. It helps in predicting value of a dependent variable from one or more independent variables. This helps in predicting how much variance is being accounted in a single response by a set of independent variables. That is the variance. Okay, that is how much variance is being accounted in a single response. That is regarding dependent variable by a set of independent variables. Impact of independent variable on dependent variable. Two kinds of regression are there. Bivariate regression and multiple regression. Bivariate regression is similar to bivariate correlation because both are designed for situations in which there are just two variables. One independent and one dependent. Whereas multiple regression is created for cases in which there are many independent variables. Many independent variables and one dependent variable. That is multiple regression. Bivariate that is normal regression is two variables will be there. One will be dependent and other it is independent. Here are some regression examples where we are using regression analysis. The marketing manager wants to know if price reduction has any effect on increasing sales. Marketing manager wants to know if sales is dependent on factors such as advertising spend, number of products introduced, number of sales personnel, etc. Here many independent variables are there. Okay. Social activist wants to know if increasing female literacy has any impact in increasing the age of marriage of girl child. So these are some of the examples okay, where impact of independent variable on dependent variable is being analyzed. Two variables will be there that is two methods are there bivariate regression and multiple regression. Bivariate means only two variables one is dependent and other is independent but for multiple regression many independent variables and one dependent variable. Now we are going to consider an example. There I am going with the hypothesis. There is a significant impact of work-life balance on employee retention. That is the hypothesis. Okay. Now let us analyze the data using regression analysis. That is we are going to check hypothesis that there is a significant impact of work-life balance on employee retention okay now let us go to that here is an example we are in the variable view and data view is this one and the same example which we have considered for correlation analysis and we have gone through 
work life balance okay work life balance was there and work culture was there so with that we have gone for the correlation analysis the same example i am considering and now i have five questions for employee retention regarding employee retention okay we know how to find the mean value work life balance mean value last class we have calculated and now retention mean value i have to find for finding the mean value these are the retention questions okay go to transform compute variable same way how we have done in the correlation analysis so go to compute variable give the title here and go for the mean value okay so that is about how to find the transformation value that is transformed value that is we have calculated the mean value using transform okay now we have to go for analyze now we are going for written uh, for this regression analysis okay so go to analyze regression linear okay linear regression click on that see dependent variable it is asking and independent variable it is asking dependent and independent my dependent variable is employee retention and my independent variable is work life balance okay that is dependent variable and independent variable i have given now go for okay okay see this is the analysis which i got regression four tables are there okay the first variable is variables entered or removed see here work life balance that is independent and dependent variable is employee retention and all requested variables are entered okay see here enter that is you have entered all the variables in right place so that is about this table next is model summary so this is an important table here you have to consider this r value 0.666 okay r value is 0.666 and see this r square that is 0.443 adjusted r square is 0.440 and this is standard error of estimate okay so here we have to concentrate in the r value r square value see this r square value is 0.443 that means 44.3 that is percentage okay 0.443 is 44.3 percentage so 44.3 percentage change in retention can be accounted by work life balance that is a variance value okay so uh, we know that is regression analysis is used to find the impact of independent variable on the dependent variable okay and here this is a value 0.443 percentage change in retention can be accounted by work life balance okay so that we have to interpret and then see this anova table okay anova table to check whether this r square value is significant for that we are going for anova table whether the r square value is significant okay we are going for anova table and anova table it is mentioned see this 0.000 that means that is significant since it is less than 0.05 okay 0.000 we got as the significant value and hence that uh, since it is less than 0.05 we can say that it is significant that is there is a significant impact of work life balance on employee retention okay and then come to coefficient and in the coefficient table this beta value 
standardized coefficient beta value 0.666 that is same as r value say this r value is 0.666 and standardized coefficient 0.666 both are same and then unstandardized coefficient beta value is 0.636 all this we have to consider in the case of our interpretation okay now we have to get all these tables and we have we are going to write the interpretation this f value you also you have to note that is 130.691 that also we have to consider in interpretation and the degree of freedom also we have to consider okay so for writing the interpretation clear that is enter means all the data have been properly entered and r square value 0.443 says that 44.3 percentage change in retention can be accounted by work life balance and uh, f value is 130.691 and significance is 0.000 that means it is less than 0.05 so it is significant and then beta value is same as r square value okay and then t value see this t value is 11.432 and it is greater than our degree of freedom okay that means it is significant now come to we'll see how to go for interpretation okay now consider the hypothesis given and its analysis problem to investigate the impact of work life balance on employee retention and hypothesis there's a significant impact of work life balance on employee retention we have already done the analysis now let us go for interpretation okay so this is the value these are the tables which we got model summary 0.666 is r value 4.443 is the r square okay and it is significant 0.000 and f value is 130.691 and this beta value co standardized coefficient beta value is same as r value and this 11.432 okay that is greater than our degree of freedom now let us go to interpretation now with that the tables which i got as output of analysis i have created this new table that is hypothesis h1 regression weight wlb tends to er okay work life balance and employee retention beta coefficient is 6.636 and r square value is 0.443 f is 130.691 p value is 0.000 hypothesis supported is yes okay now this way we have to write the interpretation hypothesis tests if work life balance carries a significant impact on employee retention the dependent variable employee retention was regressed on predicting variable work life balance to test the hypothesis h1 wlb significantly predicted retention that is they are significant okay f of 1 164 that is the degree of freedom is equal to f value is 130.691 say this 130.691 and p is less than 0.05 which indicates that there is a significant impact of wlb on employee retention this result clearly directs the positive effect of work life balance moreover the r square is equal to 0.443 okay depicts that the model explains 44.3 percentage of the variance in employee retention okay this is how you have to write the interpretation clear that is we have to consider the beta coefficient value r square value f value and p value okay and since the p value is less than 0.05 here we got 0.000 and it is less than 0.05 so this is statistically significant okay impact of work life balance on employee retention
okay and 44.3 percentage of the variance is there in employee retention so this is how we have to write the interpretation okay hope it is clear to you now we have covered that is what is regression analysis and the cases where we are using the regre regression analysis technique a hypothesis we have noticed and for that we have gone for the analysis and then now we understood how to write the interpretation hope it is clear for you thank you